Jermaine Ellis, talk about your bike. What up, Internet World? It's your boy Jermaine back with another video. So people always ask me questions about my bike. So I thought, yo, let's just make a video and let's just talk about my bike right here. Here is the bike that I ride. This is a KBO Breeze. I really, really like this bike because it's very, very simple. It's really, really easy to ride. Um, it weighs probably about 85 pounds. Um, I also have this lock on the back. This is a Kryptonite 18 millimeter lock. I recommend if you have a bike and if you lock it up in the city, do not get a bike lock smaller than 18 millimeters. You need one that's 18 millimeters because most boat cutters can't open that wide, just to throw that out there. Um, another thing with this bike, it is, um, um, it's very, very easy to ride like a regular bike if I want to just, you know, get out on it and press and go fast. It's really, really easy for me to ride it. Um, I, a lot of times I ride it pretty fast. People always ask me, yo, is your bike hacked? And um, what that basically means is you can, you can actually hack your bike and you can go faster on your bike. Um, you would uh, do some things in the settings, right? You would hit a couple of buttons a couple of times and then you can go a whole lot faster, maybe up to 20, 25 miles an hour instead of 22. Um, from the factory, straight out of the box, it's capped out at 22 miles an hour. However, if you are, um, you know, if you want to go faster, 22, um, 25 miles an hour, you can definitely hack it. There's a couple problems I found with hacking your bike. You're going to go through battery faster. You know, honestly, for the most part, I'm mainly just doing deliveries on the bike, so I don't need to go faster than 22 miles an hour. Um, if you're pedaling the bike, you can actually go faster than 22 miles an hour. A lot of times when I'm ripping on Market Street, I am, you know, flying down Market Street and I'm going, you know, maybe 25 miles an hour, 27 miles an hour. But what happens after you hit like 22 miles an hour, the motor sort of cuts off and then you're just like pedaling the bike, you know, just you're just doing all the work yourself. So that's another thing to throw out there. Um, I haven't really had too many flats on this bike. It's held up very, very well. I'll um, show you guys close-ups of the tires. Um, this bike has about 4,600 miles on it so far. And it's pretty amazing to see just how much it has held up. Um, this bike is pretty much stock except for only um, one customization I made. I changed one of the front brakes to um, a hydraulic brake system. And I just really, really love hydraulic brakes. They're freaking amazing. Um, you get like that precision stopping and you can just, you know, jam, you can cruise. You don't have to worry about tightening and loosening the brakes. And you know, once you, you know, put the brake pads in, you don't have to take them out until you get ready to replace them. And you know, I just replaced the brake on the front and the brake on the front makes, it makes the hugest difference in the world. Um, I do want to replace uh, the, the back brakes, uh, upgrade those, but it, 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 I, I can't do that one by myself. I need a little bit of help. I need to take it to a bike shop and have them run the cords from the front all the way to the back. Running the front is very, very simple. You just you know pop off the, the handlebars here and take off the brake and then put the brake down here um, on the bottom the same way you would do if you're replacing the brake pads. So that's super, super simple. Um, the charging on this bike, people always ask me like the range, how long it takes to charge. So like if it's fully dead, it'll probably take anywhere from five to six hours to completely um, charge. Um, now how far you can go, this is a very, very um, random question. Um, people ask all the time, like how far can you go? Or what's the run time, you know? Depends on what you're doing. If you're going up hills and it's really, really windy, you're not gonna be able to um, ride that much, right? Versus if it's, you know, a, you know, a, a still day and you're, you know, staying on flat surfaces the majority of the day. But let me give, give you guys some real world numbers here. Um, usually when I go out and do deliveries on the bike, um, more so I'm using the throttle and I'm not necessarily pedaling. Maybe I can go about 25 miles on one, one battery. This is just the regular battery, the same battery that came with the bike. I do have a bigger battery, um, which I can go about 35 miles. Um, on a bigger battery, um, you know, I switch them out every, um, you know, every, every day. I like, you know, so I can stay out on the bike quite a bit. I ride anywhere from about 50 to 100 miles a day. Usually, I don't quite hit the 100 mile mark because I'd have to, you know, it'd have to be really busy for me to, you know, hit that 100 mile mark. And lately, you know, in San Francisco, it hasn't been that busy, you know, with the whole economy and stuff like that. So I definitely don't ride like I used to. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's, it's a freaking amazing um, bike to ride. I love it. You know, it's definitely one I'll, I'll keep around. I've received a lot of bikes over um, over the years, a lot of bikes to review. And this one right here, hands down, has been my favorite bike to, to review, just because it's just very, very simple. I actually have two of these, by the way. The other one has 4,500 miles on it, and this one has 4,600 miles. 
Um, yeah, I had a friend that bought one, and then he ended up moving away, and he didn't want to take the bike with him, so he ended up selling me like his, you know, old KBO. So I have two, um, you know, a backup or a decoy, you know. But um, yeah, for now, yeah, it's a bike that I love, and uh, yeah, I'll definitely be riding it a lot more in the future. And yeah, this is definitely a brand I really, really like. It's a cool bike, and uh, yeah, for now. Just thought I'd make a quick video talking about my bike. <laughs> but I'll see y'all later. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. And peace out, yo.